Manchester United were dealt a blow in their quest to secure European qualification with a draw against Burnley. The Reds were held to a 1-1 draw with the Clarets at Old Trafford as they dropped more points in the Premier League. Anthony scored his first top-flight goal of the season and his third across the whole campaign to open the scoring, but the visitors responded with a late penalty from Ziki Amdouni. As a result, Eric Ten Hag's side remain in sixth place in the Premier League table after the stalemate with Burnley. Now attention will soon turn to the remaining games that United have between now and the end of the season. United now have just four more Premier League fixtures remaining this season to try and secure European football. Two of those games are on the road, while the other two see the Reds return to Old Trafford. The Reds are battling with the likes of Newcastle, West Ham and Chelsea for a spot in the top six in the Premier League. United will also have ambitions of overtaking fifth-place Tottenham Hotspur should results go their way in the final weeks of the campaign. Men's Sport takes a look at United's final Premier League fixtures compared to their rivals in the race to secure European football. Eric Ten Hag has picked an unchanged Manchester United team to give continuity and help players build routines. Against a Burnley side that's likely to be relegated, United have the opportunity to win back-to-back -back Premier League games for the first time since February 18th. United won 4-2 against Sheffield United, who are rooted to the bottom of the table, in midweek thanks to goals from Harry Maguire, Bruno Fernandes and Rasmus Hoylund. Ten Hag has named an unchanged team from that victory, which means Christian Eriksen and Anthony retain their starting places in midfield and on the right wing, respectively. Saturday afternoon's clash with Burnley is another must-win game for United, and Eric Ten Hag spoke to MUTV ahead of kickoff. It's our third game in a week, and it's a big test for us, this group of players, to go into that challenge against a tough opponent who are playing for their last chance to stay in the league, he said. They have a tough program, so they will come and assess it, so we have to go face that, go and battle them, and we're really looking forward to it. It's one of the reasons, routines, why we picked the same starting XI. To bring those routines in, that's what we have to do, but also take an eye on the load of the players. Scott McTominay is not fit for 90 minutes, but he can definitely play a half or 30 minutes, so we have to manage the game load of players. We have a group of young players who are not used to games every third day, especially not in six days, so it's going to be tough, especially against them, who play very aggressive, so as a team we have to deal with that, go and battle them, and be compact. After avoiding a banana skin moment against Sheffield United, Manchester United welcome relegation threatened Burnley to Old Trafford after a six-goal thriller on Wednesday night. The Blades took a surprising 2-1 lead in the second half before a Bruno Fernandes brace inspired a 40-0-2 comeback to secure all three points at home. Despite booking back-to-back -back FA Cup final places, Eric Ten Hag continues to deal with the high expectations at Old Trafford, but this time there appears to be serious talks. This will be his last, regardless of the result at Wembley Stadium against Man City. There is still plenty to play for, but the Red Devils are 13 points behind the Champions League spots, making it impossible to book a spot in Europe's top club competition from next week. Vincent Kompany's side find themselves now just three points from safety and look set to be involved in a three-way relegation dogfight with Nottingham Forest and Luton Town. Only Sheffield United a shoe-in for the drop to the championship. In terms of form, it is Burnley who are the better side with six points from a possible 15 in their last five between the three sides, but still plenty needed as they have the far inferior 32 goal difference to deal with as well. United claimed a much-needed victory against Sheffield United on Wednesday, winning 4-2 after goals from Harry Maguire, Bruno Fernandes and Rasmus Hoyland. Fernandez scored a brace and played through an injury to his hand that he sustained last weekend, delivering a captain's performance when United needed him most. Remarkably, the midfielder has still never missed a club game through injury in his career and is set to be one of the first names on the team sheet against Burnley. Regarding the team news, Mason Mount has been named on the bench, but Eric Ten Hag starting as Skets 
remains unchanged from the side that started the win over Sheffield United in midweek. United might have thrown away three points here. Just as United appeared to have the game under control, Burnley are gifted a penalty. VIR checked for a possible Burnley penalty, and it's been given. Finally, United have scored, and Anthony is the man responsible for finding the back of the net. Burnley were sloppy at the back and were dispossessed, but Anthony did well to finish and looks to have hurt himself in the process. After a frantic start to the game, it seemed very unlikely it would be goalless on 70 minutes. But here we are. Both sides have created chances, and the finishing has been poor. Garnacho has had plenty and just forced Burnley's keeper into a strong save there. There were loud boos around Old Trafford when fans realized Maynou was coming off. And bringing your goal scorer, Hoagland, off when you need a goal is also a surprise. McTominay is warming up and this has the makings of another McTominay came off the bench to rescue victory for United. There is still a lot of time left on the clock and United have had opportunities this half already. Garnacho has also improved since he looked injured, ironically. The finishing has been poor today and United should have a goal by now, at least. It will be interesting to see how long it takes Ahmad to be introduced to the game because he feels like an inevitable change for Antony in the next 20 minutes or so. Garnacho does well down the left wing and finds Antony in the box. The winger attempts to poke home from the six-yard box, but his effort is saved. Maguire has just waved his arms in the air, essentially urging teammates to operate at his level. He's put out a few fires and Onana has again with his denial of Foster. Amidst the echoing roars of the passionate fans, Old Trafford was charged with electric tension as Manchester United found themselves locked in a fierce battle against Burnley. The clock ticked ominously, each passing minute intensifying the drama on the pitch. Chris Wheeler's voice reverberated across the stadium as he announced the substitution. The sub McTominay is subbed as Ten Hag sends on mount to try and get the win. Six men's added on at OTMUFC. Hope flickered in the hearts of United faithfuls as they anticipated a last-minute surge. But hope turned to frustration as Mark Goldbridge's incredulous voice boomed through the stands. Another penalty, exactly the same as the AWB won last week and not given. I give up. It's madness at this stage. The crowd erupted into a cacophony of protests, their fervent chants echoing the sentiment of injustice. Mark Goldbridge's outrage reached a crescendo. We've been absolutely robbed there, disgusting. 90 pulses threes, Muen won one burr, McTominay injured. The disbelief was palpable, 